Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. The whole nine yards, giving something your all, going the extra mile, or providing everything that's required. I can't believe the effort you put into decorating your house for the holidays. It's like the whole nine yards. Well, you know me, I love going all out for Christmas. Lights, ornaments, the works. It must have taken you forever. But it looks amazing. Thanks. It's a labor of love, and I enjoy every moment of it. Speaking of effort, did you finish that huge report for the boss? Yep, finally submitted it yesterday. It was a ton of work. But it had to be the whole nine yards. I can imagine. The boss really expects top notch reports. Yeah, I didn't want to cut any corners. It had to be thorough and well documented. I admire your dedication. How do you manage to put in the whole nine yards at work and still do this grand holiday decoration? Well, it's all about time management and prioritizing. I guess I just love giving my all to everything I do. That's a great attitude. You certainly make the most of every endeavor. Thanks, it keeps life interesting. And now, I'm off to put up some more lights outside. Gotta go the whole nine yards, you know. Have fun, and don't forget to enjoy the process. Throw in the towel to give up on a task or activity. I've been trying to fix this old computer for hours, but I think I'm ready to throw in the towel. I don't blame you. Sometimes, it's just not worth the frustration. It's an ancient piece of hardware, anyway. Yeah, I've tried everything, but it's just not cooperating. I give up. Don't feel bad about it. You've given it your best shot. Maybe it's time for an upgrade. You're right. It's about time I invested in a new one. This thing has seen better days. On a different note, how's your New Year's resolution to hit the gym regularly going? I hate to admit it, but I threw in the towel on that one too. Life's been too busy. It happens to the best of us. The important thing is not to give up on your health and fitness entirely. You can always start again when things calm down. You're absolutely right. I'll get back on track once I have more free time. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. We all have our moments when we want to throw in the towel, but it's about getting back up and trying again when the time is right. Turn a blind eye to ignore or pretend not to notice something, often something that should be addressed.
ice in my veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day Did you see what happened at the office today? The boss caught Tom watching cat videos on company time. Yeah, I heard about it. It's not the first time he's been slacking off. Why doesn't someone report it? Well, it seems like most of his team just turn a blind eye to it. They don't want to get involved. That's the problem with the workplace sometimes. People should speak up about these things. I agree, but they're afraid of creating conflicts. They'd rather keep the peace. I get it. But turning a blind eye to such behavior can create a toxic work environment. You're absolutely right. It's a delicate balance between keeping harmony and addressing issues. I think the team should have a serious talk with Tom about his performance. It's for the best in the long run. Agreed. It's about time someone addresses it before it affects everyone's productivity. Sometimes, you can't just turn a blind eye. You have to confront the problem for the sake of the team. Under the weather, feeling unwell or sick. Hey, you don't look too good today. Are you okay? I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately. I think I caught a cold. That's no good. Have you seen a doctor or taken any medicine? Not yet. I've just been resting at home and drinking lots of fluids. Well, make sure to take it easy and get well soon. Thanks. I'm hoping to recover quickly. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I appreciate that. It's just a minor illness, but it's still frustrating. I understand. Being under the weather can really throw off your routine. Tell me about it. I had to cancel a lot of plans this week. Health comes first, though. Take the time you need to recover fully. You're right. I'll be patient and get back to my usual self as soon as I can. Good attitude. Rest up and get well soon. Introducing yourself and others. Hi there, I don't think we've met before. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. I'm Sarah. It's a pleasure, Sarah. I'm new to this neighborhood. Welcome. We're a friendly bunch around here. This is my friend, Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you as well. Hey, Alex. Good to have you in the neighborhood. Thank you, Mark. I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone. Have you had a chance to explore the area yet? Not really. I've been pretty busy with the move. Any recommendations? There's a great coffee shop just a few blocks away. You should definitely check it out. I'm a coffee enthusiast, so that's right up my alley. Thanks for the tip. Also, we have a park nearby where people often hang out. It's a nice spot to relax. That sounds perfect for a weekend stroll. I appreciate the suggestion. No problem. Feel free to join us if you see us there sometime. I definitely will. It's nice to know there are friendly faces around. We're a close-knit community. You'll fit right in. That's great to hear. 
Thanks for making me feel welcome. Of course, anytime. We're all here to help each other out. That means a lot. I'm looking forward to becoming a part of the neighborhood. We're excited to have you here, Alex. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Thanks, Sarah. I'm glad I've already met such friendly neighbors. Well, we're all in this together. Let's stay connected and enjoy the community. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thanks again, both of you. You're welcome, Alex. Take care and see you around. You too. Have a great day and goodbye for now. Goodbye. Take care, Alex. Greetings. Hey there, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Just trying to stay busy. I hear you. It's been a hectic week for me too. Yeah, seems like everyone's got a lot on their plates lately. Tell me about it. But at least the weekend's almost here, right? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to some relaxation. Same here. Got any exciting plans for the weekend? Not really. Just planning to catch up on some reading and maybe go for a hike. That sounds nice. I might hit up a movie and spend some time with family. Quality family time is always a good idea. By the way, have you tried that new coffee shop downtown? Not yet. Is it any good? It's actually pretty great. We should go together sometime. I'm up for it. Coffee sounds like just what I need. Awesome. Let's plan for that next week then. Sounds like a plan. Anyway, I should get back to work. Talk to you later. Definitely. Have a productive day and we'll catch up soon. You too. Take care and talk to you later. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Saying goodbye. Well, it's been a great evening, but I should be heading home. Time really flew by. Thanks for coming over. I had a wonderful time. Me too. Your cooking was amazing, and the company was even better. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We should do this again sometime. Definitely. Let's plan another get-together soon. Sounds like a plan. Safe travels back home. Thanks. It's not a long drive, so I should be fine. Still. Drive safely. And let me know when you're back so I know you're okay. I will, don't worry. Thanks for your hospitality. Anytime. You're always welcome here. I appreciate that. Take care and have a great night. You too. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. I will. Goodbye for now. Making apologies. I need to talk to you. I'm really sorry about what happened yesterday. Yeah, I was actually hoping we could discuss that. I was quite upset about it. I understand, and I want to sincerely apologize for my actions. It was thoughtless and inconsiderate. It really caught me off guard. I didn't expect that from you. 
I know, and I'm disappointed in myself as well. I let my emotions get the best of me. I appreciate your honesty, but that doesn't change how hurtful it was. I take full responsibility for my words. I should have never said what I did. I felt really disrespected, and it's going to take some time for me to move past this. I understand if you need some space, and I'm willing to give you that. I'm committed to making things right. I hope your words are sincere, because trust has been shaken. I truly mean what I'm saying. I want to make amends and regain your trust. Well, actions speak louder than words. What steps are you planning to take? First, I'm going to work on controlling my reactions and think before I speak. And I'll make sure to communicate better in the future. Those are good starting points. Just know that it's going to take some time for me to forgive and move forward. I completely understand. I'm prepared to be patient and earn back your trust. Okay, I appreciate your honesty and willingness to address this. Let's see if we can rebuild from here. Thank you for giving me the chance. I promise to do better and show you that I've learned from my mistake. Economy The holiday season is coming up. And I can already feel the holiday economy gearing up. Oh, definitely. It's that time of year when everything seems to revolve around shopping and spending. It's amazing how much the economy depends on the season. Businesses make a significant portion of their annual revenue during these few months. Absolutely, from Black Friday sales to Cyber Monday deals. It's a frenzy of consumerism. And it's not just retail. Travel and hospitality also get a big boost as people plan trips and family gatherings. True, it's a domino effect. People traveling means they're booking flights, hotels, and spending money on dining and activities. But it's also a bit ironic, you know. The season of giving and togetherness has become so commercialized. I agree. It's important to remember the real meaning of the holidays amidst all the shopping and spending. On the other hand, the holiday economy does provide jobs for many people, especially temporary ones during this rush. That's a valid point. It's a source of seasonal employment for a lot of individuals. Well, no matter how commercialized it gets, I do enjoy the festive spirit and the time spent with family and friends. Absolutely. Let's not lose sight of what truly matters during this holiday season. Stock investment. Have you ever thought about getting into stock investment? With the way the market's been moving, it seems like a tempting opportunity. Yeah, I've considered it, but I'm a bit hesitant. The stock market can be unpredictable, and I'm not sure if I have enough knowledge to make informed decisions. I get that. It can be intimidating, but there are resources and platforms that can help you research and make informed choices. True, but even with research, there's always a level of risk involved. I wouldn't want to lose money I can't afford to. That's a valid concern. Many financial advisors recommend only investing what you can afford to lose. On the other hand, I've seen people make substantial gains through stock investment. It's a mixed bag. It is. Some people are in it for the long-term growth, while others try to capitalize on short-term market movements. And there's so much information out there it's hard to know what to trust. That's why it's important to start small, maybe with some safer options like index funds or ETFs, while you're learning the ropes. Yeah, I guess dipping my toes in slowly would be a wise approach. And always remember, it's a journey of learning. The more you educate yourself and gain experience, the more confident you'll become. Thanks for the advice. I'll definitely consider it. It's just a matter of finding the right balance between risk and potential reward. Exactly. No rush, take your time and make informed decisions that align with your financial goals and comfort level.
Taxi. Hey, let's catch a taxi to the conference venue. It's quite a walk from here. Agreed. Especially with all the stuff we're carrying. Do you know if there's a taxi stand nearby? Yeah, there's one just around the corner. We shouldn't have trouble finding a cab. Awesome. Do you have the address handy? I'll give it to the driver. Sure thing. Here it is 123 Main Street, Conference Center. Got it. Thanks. And I assume you have some local currency to pay for the ride? Yes, I made sure to withdraw some cash earlier. It's always good to have the local currency on hand. Perfect. I've heard that some taxis might not take credit cards here. Yeah, it's better not to rely solely on cards. Anyway, once we're in the taxi, let's make sure the driver uses the meter. Agreed. I've heard stories about tourists getting overcharged. Better safe than sorry. And if the driver suggests an alternative route, it's always a good idea to have a map open on your phone to track the route. Good tip. Safety first. Do you know how long the ride should take? It's about a 20 minute drive, but it might be longer if there's heavy traffic. All right, fingers crossed for smooth traffic. Let's head to the taxi stand now. Absolutely. Ready to get to the conference in style? You know it. Let's go catch that taxi. Leaving a message. Hey, I need to leave a message for our neighbor, Miss Johnson. She wanted to know when the community meeting is. Sure, just let me know what you want to say, and I'll help you leave a clear message. Thanks. Here's what I'll say. Hi, Miss Johnson. This is a from next door. I wanted to let you know that the community meeting is scheduled for next Saturday at 3 p.m. in the clubhouse. Hope to see you there. That sounds perfect. Should I leave your number in case she wants to reach out? Yes, definitely. You can add, feel free to call me if you have any questions. My number is 12,345. Have a great day. Got it. So, the complete message will be, Hi, Miss Johnson. This is a from next door. I wanted to let you know that the community meeting is scheduled for next Saturday at 3 p.m. in the clubhouse. Feel free to call me if you have any questions. My number is your phone number. Have a great day. That's perfect. Thanks for helping me with this. I appreciate it. No problem at all. Glad I could assist. I'll make sure to leave the message for her. Thanks again. Hopefully, she'll get the message and be able to attend the meeting. I'm sure she'll appreciate you keeping her informed. Message left. All done. Great, you're a lifesaver. Thanks for your help once again. Anytime. Let me know if you need anything else. Have a wonderful day. Giving good news. Hey, I have some exciting news to share. Oh, do tell. I love good news. What's up? I got accepted into the university study abroad program for next semester. No way. That's amazing. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I can't believe it myself. I'm beyond thrilled. You totally deserve it. You've worked so hard in your studies. Your support means a lot to me. I can't wait to experience a new country and culture. You're going to have the time of your life. It's such a fantastic opportunity. 
I'm both excited and a bit nervous. It'll be a big change. Change can be intimidating, but it's where growth happens. You learn and experience so much. You're right. I'm looking forward to it. And guess what? I received a scholarship to help with the expenses. Wow, that's the cherry on top. This is getting better and better. I couldn't believe it when I got the email. It's such a relief. It's well deserved. Your hard work and dedication are paying off. Thank you for celebrating with me. Your enthusiasm makes the news even more exciting. It's my pleasure. I'm genuinely happy for you. When are you leaving? In about two months. I still have some preparations to make, but I can't wait to embark on this journey. Enjoy every moment of it. Take lots of photos and make unforgettable memories. I definitely will. Thanks for sharing in my excitement and for your continuous support. Anytime. We're in this journey together. Have an amazing time. I will. Take care and talk to you soon. Giving bad news. Hey, can we talk? I need to share something with you. Of course. Is everything okay? I'm afraid not. I got the results from my medical tests, and it turns out I have a health issue. I'm really sorry to hear that. What did the doctor say? It's not the best news. I have to undergo some treatments and make some lifestyle changes to manage it. I can't imagine how you must be feeling right now. It must be really tough. Yeah, it's been a shock, but I'm determined to face it head on and do whatever it takes to get better. You have a strong attitude. You're not alone in this, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Thank you, that means a lot to me. I know it won't be easy, but I'm trying to stay positive. Your positivity will play a big role in your recovery. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I appreciate your offer. Right now, I'm still processing everything and learning about my options. Take your time. Research and reach out to medical professionals for advice. I will. It's just overwhelming to think about the changes I'll need to make. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. Lean on your support system and take things one step at a time. Thanks for being here to listen and offer your support. It means a lot. I'm always here for you. Remember, you're stronger than you think, and you'll get through this. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks again. I'll keep you updated as I learn more about my treatment plan. Please do. We're in this together. Stay strong, and if you ever need to talk, I'm just a call away. I will. Take care, and thank you for being a true friend. Expressing Disappointment Hey, I heard the results of the competition. How did it go? Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the finals. I'm really disappointed. I'm so sorry to hear that. I know how much you were looking forward to it. Yeah, I put in a lot of effort and practice. It's frustrating that it didn't work out. I can imagine how disappointing it must be, especially after all the hard work you've put in. It's just tough when you set your heart on something and it doesn't pan out. Absolutely, but remember that setbacks are a part of life's journey. You'll bounce back stronger. I know you're right, but right now, it's hard to see the silver lining. It's okay to feel down for a while. Take the time you need to process your feelings. Thanks for understanding. I'm trying to keep things in perspective. That's the spirit. And don't forget, this doesn't define your worth or talent. I appreciate your support.
I'll use this disappointment as motivation to work harder next time. That's the way to go. And remember, I'm here for you no matter what. Thanks, that means a lot. It's reassuring to have friends who understand. We all have our UPS and downs. Lean on your friends and loved ones during the tough times. I will. Thanks again for being there to listen and offer your perspective. Anytime. Life's full of twists and turns, and we navigate them together. Definitely. Let's catch up soon and keep each other motivated. Sounds like a plan. Take care of yourself and keep your chin up. You too. Thanks for the talk. Goodbye for now. Stunning is the weather today. How stunning is the weather today? The sun is shining, and there's a gentle breeze. I know, right? It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for a day outdoors. Definitely. I'm thinking of going for a hike later. Wanna join? That sounds tempting. I wish I could, but I've got some work deadlines to meet. No worries, I understand. But don't work too hard on a day like this. I'll try my best. Maybe I can take a short break and enjoy the sun for a bit. That's the spirit. Trust me, a little fresh air can do wonders for your productivity. You're probably right. I've been cooped up indoors all week. So, if you can manage a break, I'll be at the park around noon. Feel free to join me. Sounds like a plan. I'll see if I can wrap up some tasks and sneak away for a while. Perfect. And if you can't make it, there's always another sunny day to look forward to. True that. Enjoy your hike, and I'll let you know if I can escape for a bit. Sounds good. Catch you later, and make sure to take a breather. Will do. Thanks for the reminder. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Hey, do you remember the name of that restaurant we went to last year? The one with the amazing seafood. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. It had that cozy atmosphere and the view of the harbor, right? Yes, exactly. And their specialty was that unique lobster dish. I'm trying so hard to recall the name. I can picture the whole scene, the tables by the window, the aroma of the food. But the name is just slipping my mind. Maybe if we think about the location. It was near the beach, and we had to park a little bit away from it. Yes. It was a bit of a walk from the parking lot. Wait, I think the name started with answer maybe AC. Um, I'm not sure. It's frustrating that we can remember all these details, but the name is eluding us. Absolutely. It's like it's dancing on the edge of my memory. If only we could unlock that missing piece. Well, regardless, we need to find it because I'm craving that lobster dish again. Agreed? Let's keep trying. And maybe it will suddenly pop into our heads. No thanks. Hey, would you like another slice of cake? It's chocolate fudge. Your favorite? No thanks. I've had enough for now. Are you sure? I made it specially for today's gathering. I appreciate it, but I'm really stuffed. It looks delicious though. Well, if you change your mind, there's plenty left. Just let me know. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, did you want help with cleaning up after the party? Oh, that's so kind of you to offer, but I've got it covered. It's just a few dishes and some tidying up. No problem at all. Just wanted to help out if you needed it. I appreciate that. You've been such a great guest. Plus, 
Your potato salad was a hit. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. It's an old family recipe. Well, thank you for sharing it with us. And remember, if you change your mind about the cake, it'll be waiting for you. Haha, <laughs> will do. Thanks again, but for now, no thanks. Yes, please. Hey, they're offering a special discount on that photography workshop you were interested in. Want me to sign you up? Yes, please. That sounds like a fantastic opportunity. Great. I'll make sure to get you registered before the deadline. It's going to be so much fun. Thank you so much for looking out for me. I've been wanting to improve my photography skills. No problem at all. We can even go together and make it a fun learning experience. That's an excellent idea. Having a buddy there will definitely make it more enjoyable. And speaking of going out, there's a new Italian restaurant in town. Would you like to try it this weekend? Yes, please. I'm always up for trying new places, especially if it's Italian food. Perfect. I'll make a reservation for Saturday night. Heard they have amazing pasta dishes. I can't wait. It's been a while since I've had some good pasta. Also, I heard they have a great tiramisu for dessert. Oh, I love tiramisu. This is going to be a wonderful evening. Agreed. Looking forward to it. Yes, please to good food and good company. Absolutely. Thanks for organizing all of this. You're the best. My pleasure. It's going to be a fantastic time. Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comments section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.